Mailer Lite Tutorial Best Free Email Marketing Platform Complete Guide. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about one of the most incredible email marketing platforms out there and i'm going to be showing you how you can use this platform to send emails create automations and do so much more like building engaging audiences okay we're going to be going through it in great detail i'm going to be telling you how this works great for your online business how you can use all the different service providers with mailer light and i'm going to be covering all of the main features and details that it contains so to start things off what you are going to be doing is you are going to come over to mailer light so first of all let's talk about mailer lights free plan versus its paid plan okay so for that we're going to come over to the pricings now when it comes to mailer lights free plan we have this so it's absolutely zero dollars for up to a thousand subscribers and these are the recurring features you can get. You can get started with the free plan with up to all the whatnots that you need for email marketing or email campaigning. And you can get it uh, with different additional features that it gives you like drag and drop editors, email automation builders, websites, 10 landing pages, comparative reporting, and sign up forms and pop-ups. And moving on, we have other plans like growing business and advanced, okay? So you get additional features like settling digital products, unlimited templates, you get dynamic emails, auto recent campaigning, unlimited websites and blogs, unsubscribe page builder, multi variate testing. And then there's the big boy plan, which is the advanced $18 plan, which obviously varies with the price as your subscribers go on. So it's $18 for 500 subscribers where you can get unlimited monthly emails, unlimited users, Facebook integration with your meta, custom HTML editor, Promotion pop-ups, multiple triggers, and automation, and preference center where you can get AI writing assistance, smart sending, and partner discounts, okay? So you can go with a paid plan if you want to, but I'm simply going to go ahead and get started with this. So I'm going to click on sign up for free, and we're going to get in. Now, once you do that, it's going to bring you to get started with a forever free plan where no credit card is required. So I'm going to add in my details. Then it asks me for my email. So I'm simply going to go ahead and add that in. And once we've added that in, we're going to add our password. So once you add in your password, you're going to click on create my account and we are good to go from there. So once you click on create my account and you load in, this brings you to your basic mailer light dashboard. OK, now over here, it's first of all going to say verify your email. OK, and also complete your profile. So you could do that. But if you're a new mailer, you will first need to verify all these things in. OK, you're going to need to verify your email, complete your profile. And once those two steps are done, your dashboard will look really simple. So I'm going to go ahead, confirm my email. OK, so I just got the verification address for my email. So I'm going to go ahead and verify that real quick. And once I verify that for myself, we're going to get into the other belongings that come with your free trial on Mailer Lite. OK, so once you have uh, verified your email, this is the tab that's going to open for you. That's going to tell you to complete your profile. Now, once we go over to completing our profile, it brings us to the approval section. So we have first name, last name, time zone, English. Then it says, what tools are you interested in using? I'm going to go with campaigns, forums. Let's go with automations and websites okay and once you do that i'm going to add in the requirements industry we're going to go with let's say agriculture and food services for now and we're going to click on next step from here now once you click on next step from here it brings you to the organization information you're going to make sure to you know read through all these things agree with their terms add in your address and you're going to select your country so I'm going to select the United States. You're going to add in your zipper postal code. You're going to choose your state. And once you do all of that, you're going to click on confirm. And that finally verifies your information and you should be good to go from there. So once you do that, this finally brings you to your dashboard. And this is where the main work starts. OK, this is your admin dashboard, basically. And in this dashboard, Basically, it takes you along with the menus where it gives you your performance overviews, new subscribers and different analytics, basically. OK, you can get different campaign widgets, automations, forms, sites. This is where you're going to get your base analytics. OK, then on the left hand side, you can see all of the features like dashboard campaigns, subscribers, forms, sites, automation, 
uh, you get account settings, integration, file manager, my templates. Okay. And we're going to go through all of this shortly in the ahead settings of the video. So please do make sure to keep on watching. Now, first of all, we're going to go ahead and talk about how you're going to design email. So for this, what we are going to do is we're going to go over to campaigns. Now, once you go over to the campaigns here, it says create your first campaign, pick any editor and design a campaign in minutes. So I'm going to click on create. And once you click on create, it brings us regular ably split rss also resend and multivariate campaign so go with any one of these if you want to i'm simply going to go ahead with this one right now or you could also go with this one these two are the ones people usually choose now ab split is where you can send two email variations to a sample group to see which performs better but i'm going to go with the regular campaign for now now campaign name i'm going to call this uh, test okay subject first product line is out now is the subject and then uh, we have reply to address. OK, so you could actually change your sender address if you want to. Now, you could choose to change it however you want. You can insert different personalizations as well. You can also choose a different preheader and recipients. OK, now, once you've done all of that, you're going to click on next and you're going to make sure that your recipients are activated. Now, I'm also going to show you how you're going to add your recurring recipients for yourself. OK because it basically helps you in getting an idea of who they're going to want to send the email to. Now over here, you're going to add the recurring email for yourself that you want to send emails with. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and write my address. Now once we do that, it's going to choose a domain with a custom business. Okay. So without a custom business domain, you're not going to be able to, you know, send a proper verification. So as you can see, I have sent an email to the mail I want to send the campaign with. So let me just load in my email workspace. And once we've loaded in our email from there, what you can do is I'm going to switch over to the email that I have signed up with. Okay, so here it is. Now, once we open this up here, we're going to get an email verification regarding the actual campaigning. OK, so here we have it. Mailer light. We're going to open this up. You're going to verify your email address. OK, and once you verify it down, it's going to bring you back to the dashboard. And now you can come back over to campaigns once again. And in the campaign section, what you can do is you can start creating those campaigns from scratch once again. So make sure that your email domain is authenticated as well because without configuring your domain you will not be able to send proper verificated emails okay so we are verified but to authenticate it you're going to make sure to go with the different providers that it gives us so let's say i'm going to go with google okay then it also gives us the setup instructions where we're going to create a cname record or a txt record and then verify it okay so that is how you're going to be verifying all the things that you're going to recurringly need. Then once you have done that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, add the email. I want to add the verifications with. OK, once we do this, I'm simply going to go ahead, copy this. We're going to come here and we're going to paste the email in this section. And then it says you're going to, you know, authenticate your domain accordingly. So what it does is it gives you a whole tutorial in authenticating your domain. So you're simply going to make sure to go through with this accordingly to yourself. We're going to add a campaign name. You're going to add a subject field, choose the active subscribers. And once we have gone through with all of that, you know, you should be pretty much good to go with the main mailing section. OK, so once you have chosen the recurring email and reply to's, you can go ahead to your email designer where you can finally review your email and start sending it out to the people that you want to submit it to. OK, it's pretty straightforward and it gives us a pretty, you know, easy and recurring idea on how we're going to create different campaigns. OK, and the email designer that MailerLite gives you is absolutely flawless because the different integrities that it gives us when we're designing is really perfect. And you're definitely going to want to keep an idea of all of these things and how we're going to basically be using these things for ourselves. OK, then moving on, 
you can come over to subscribers because this is the section where you can actually add contacts into your list. Now, adding contacts is a very important widget. It's a very important section when it comes to, uh, you know, platforms like these. Now, the reason for that is because you can only send email to a subscriber list. OK, and without a subscriber list, there is no email sending. So do make sure that the list you choose is uh, according to the par and it's an appropriate list because without that your subscribers or your emails will not reach so to add subscribers you're going to click on add subscribers over here now you can either drag and drop a txt file or a csv file or what you can do is you can add them individually so first of all i'm going to give you an example from a csv file and then i'm going to show you how you can add single subscribers one by one now look at this now this is a basic uh, CSV or TXT file. So as you can see, we have all the matching fields in this section. Now what you can do is you can set different columns and different categories for those fields accordingly. So if we come over to the, to the first name field, we're gonna go to belongs to, and you can easily add this to the name field. Then just like this, we're gonna go into the other fields. We're gonna belong this to the last name. Then we come over to company, we're going to add this to company and so on. So like this, you're going to add all the recurring details for yourself. And once you have added all the consistent details, you're going to click on finish import. And as you can see, the import progress is shown to you. So from those 50 subscribers, 49 were added and one was not added into my field. So what I can do from there is what you're going to do is you're going to come back to subscribers again and in the subscribers section what you can see is all the subscribers that i just added for myself now this is how you're going to add subscribers through the csv format so let me show you how you can add subscribers one by one individually in a single format so for this you're going to come over to add single subscriber and you're going to add any email so let's say i'm going to add this email for myself and i'm going to add a name now once you've done that you can go to show more fields and you can add more fields if you want to, but I'm simply going to keep it like this. Let's keep it simple. And once you do that, you're going to click on add subscriber. And there we go. So the subscriber was just added into your subscribers list. And you can check it out by going to the subscriber section if you want to. Okay, pretty straightforward and easy. Now, moving on from there, once you've added these subscribers, you can also create different segments, groups and lists for them. So if you want to do that, what you can do is you're going to come over to the segments section because there could be different segments for different subscribers. So let's say if you're running a business for e-commerce, what happens in that e-commerce business is that, you know, some could be for summer sales, some could be for winter sales, some could be for the spring sale. So you can create different segments for those sales accordingly. Okay. So let's say I'm going to click on create segment. And once we come on create segment, I'm going to go ahead and write summer sale. So once we go to summer sale from here, you're going to make sure to click on create. And once you click on create, we have a segment now. Now to add people in the segment, what you can do is you can choose recurring subscribers for yourself that you think will fit well and work well enough in this. So we're going to add this much and we're going to click on save changes. And once we've done that, as you can see, it saves the segments accordingly. And you can also add different conditions in the segments. Obviously, that depends on your editorial methods and what type of emails do you want to send to certain audiences. So once we've created segments for subscribers, we can actually move on to more detailed and integrated sending. Now, from here, let's move over to forms. So once we move over to forms, Forms are basic pop-up sections where you can create different pop-ups. So there's three types of forms. There's pop-up forms, embedded forms, and promotion forms. Now, first of all, we're going to go to the pop-up forms in here. It says you can get subscriber signups when they are most engaged, design pop-ups, and schedule when they appear. You can choose from several pop-up types, including floating bars and slide boxes, determine pop-up behavior based on timing and scrolling, and use pre-designed templates to get started quickly. So. What we're going to do is we're going to click on create and here you're going to add in your form name. Now your form name could be anything. So let's say I'm going to call this summer sale outreach. Okay. Now, once we add that in for ourselves, we're going to click on save and continue. So once we save and continue on the pop-up form, what's going to happen from there is it's going to bring you to the subscriber group. Now, this is why I was having you create a group. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and name this group summer sale. 
And once we do that, we're going to click on create. So once you've done all of this, you're going to click on continue. And once we click on continue, it's going to bring us to choosing a template. So the template choosing is pretty straightforward and simple. You can go with any of these templates that you think look good. So let's say I'm going to go with this template over here. This one looks pretty nice. So I'm going to click on choose. And once we click on choose, this template basically opens up for us straight away. So once the template editor is opened up, the actual editing sequence that goes into this is pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple and it helps you out a lot when it comes to working with it. OK, so let me just wait for it to load up. And now that we're here, you can, first of all, change the design of your form. So you're going to choose the form type. Do you want it to be a background list form or do you want it to be a box form like this? Or you can choose it like that, like this or this. OK, so obviously in the case of this forms image, this design looks well. Then you can come over to the design settings more over and choose your fonts. So let's say we have this font over here. I find this font pretty cool, so I'm going to stay on this. And you can also change your background. Now, currently there's a background image on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that and you can add an image by yourself as well. So let's say I'm going to click on upload image. And once we click on upload image, what happens from there is we are going to add any image that we think will look good behind the form. So once we add this, we're going to click on insert and there we go. Now, as you can see, the colors are out blended. You know, they don't look too good. So to change the colors of these texts, what you can do is you can go ahead and you can take the different colors that it gives you. You can also choose the different button settings that it allows you to get. So let's say I'm going to come over to text color and we're going to make the text color a little different. Let's go with blue. So as you can see, a dark blue will look good, but it's still not holding out. So what we're going to do is we're going to bolden the font. OK, you're also going to make sure to underline it so it's more appearance wise better. I'd say you can make the text bigger. You can make it smaller according to yourself. And once we've done that, you're also going to make sure to align it correctly according to your settings. And once you've done that here, we have different fields like the email subscriber field. We have the subscribe buttons, etc. You can also choose to add different blocks into this if you want to. So if I click on blocks, first of all, we have text that you can add anywhere. So um, let's say I'm going to write live your life to the fullest with our products. OK, so you can write in different lines like these. And once we have done that, I'm going to ch simply choose all of these. You're going to change its alignment. I'm going to align it to the center. I'm going to make it slightly bold and look at that looks pretty incredible right then moving on once you've saved that you can also add different images so let's say i'm going to add an image over here we're going to click on edit and now we can upload any image that we desire so for this we're going to click on upload image and once we click on upload image from here you can add any image that you think will look good according to your design so let's say we're going to go with this one over here so once you click over that, the image starts saving. And once the image is saved, you're going to click on insert. So look at that. Just like this, you can add different images as well. I'm simply going to click on save. Then you can add a different type of countdown for your products as well. So let's say there's a sales countdown or there's a product line, uh, you know, run out countdown. All these different things can work, you know, related to each other. And in my opinion, they work pretty incredibly because they help you out a lot when it comes to the basic working of your program okay so you're going to make sure to keep all of these things intact for yourself as well you can also add different things like social links and dividers if you do so but once you're done with all of this you're going to click on done editing and that basically creates your form so once your form is done what you can do is you can first of all add a trigger so wait five seconds before showing the pop-up obviously i'm going to increase that time to 20. Then it says show when user scrolls 50%. I'm going to go with 50% over here and it says shows before closing page. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on as well. And then we have the frequency. So you set the period when you want to show the pop up to the same user again. So I'm going to go ahead and write one week. So every week, the person when they visit my website, it's going to show up to them. 
Then we have scheduling. So you can set the timing of your pop-up in advance where it could be, you know, the pop-up activating immediately, or it could be a specific time that you set. So you can schedule a start and end time. Now I'm going to go with pop-up active immediately. And once you do that, you have visibilities as well, where you can keep the pop-up on always show, hide on specific pages, hide on desktop devices, etc. So if you want to change those filters for yourself, you can do that, but I'm simply going to come over here. Now, once that is done, it gives us the JavaScript snippet or the show on click snippet. Now, if you're affiliated with code, you will know that when you add the JavaScript into your team liquids main section, or if you go into your websites, HTML and CSS and add the main JavaScript in that section, what happens is it gets integrated with your website's design and immediately adds the different surfaces for yourself. So once you do that, you're going to click on continue. And this is basically how your form is going to operate. So it gives you a full preview design. So I'm going to open up the preview and it loads in the preview for me like this. And this is how my design is going to look pretty incredible, right? So that is how you're going to create designs using Mailer Lite. And obviously forms are the best way, in my opinion, to actually send out different uh, subscriber lists and to send out different, uh, you could say, outreaches for emails and contacts. Now, once you do that, what you're going to want to do from here is you can also check its analytics and automations to actually see if your form has reached anyone. So if there's a person who the pop-up is shown to or the subscriber is collected through that form or your rates are converted, all of those can be shown in this section. Then at the same speed, you can also check out automations where you can create automations for your subscribe form as well. Now, I'm not going to create automations right now because we're going to get into that into a few seconds. So what you're going to want to do right now is you're going to go ahead and click on sites. So here it says create your first landing page. Now, this is one of the greatest features that Mailer Lite provides you. And those features are creating different landing pages for yourself. So you can create a landing page for your site or moreover, you can actually create a whole website using Mailer Lite as well. Isn't that incredible? So basically, you can manage your website, email marketing and all the campaigning that you require from this one section. OK, so I'm simply going to keep it, you know, straightforward right now and come over to the landing page section in here. We're going to click on create your first landing page. So now that we click on create your first landing page, you're going to give your site a name. So let's say I'm just going to call it car. Then we have a single page creation. I'm going to click on save and continue. Now, once we click on save and continue, it brings us here where it says select the subscriber group. I'm going to click on the summer sale group and we're going to click on continue from there. Now you can either build your landing page with an AI or you can start from scratch. Now building it with an AI is pretty efficient and you know, it saves you a lot of time and work and AI does create an incredible page for you. But in my opinion, the best way to do so would be starting from scratch. So let's say I'm going to come here. I'm going to click on start from scratch. And once we're over here, you can start adding sections for yourself. So let's say, First of all, I'm going to go ahead and add a heading. So in this heading, I'm going to talk about my brand. So I'm going to write summer sale here. OK, I'm going to add a little exclamations. Then what we're going to do is we're going to align this text in the center, make it slightly bold. And once you do that, here we have our text. Now, moving on from here, you can add images according to, you know, your sections and spaces. So let's say I'm going to add an image over here. So I'm going to click on select image. I'm going to select the same product that I did previously. Then moving on, you can change your site's colors as well. So to change the coloring, you're going to go over to style and you're going to go with the different colors that it provides you. So let's say I'm going to go with this style. This style, in my opinion, will work incredibly and it will work pretty nicely according to my brand. And in my opinion, this looks pretty nice as well. So I'd rather keep it this way. Then moving on from there, what happens is you can also go ahead and add different individual buttons and sections for yourself. So there's different hero sections, content sections, people, FAQ features, and a whole lot more. So now that we're in element, let's go ahead and add a button. Okay. So here I'm going to add a button over here. Now the alignment for this button is a bit out. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. 
So first of all, you're going to align it to the center. And then we have buttons. So I'm going to go with secondary colors. You know, that looks cool. Then you can write different texts over it as well. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this text. And I'm going to go ahead and write shop now. Okay, that is what we're going to write straight into it. So now that we have all of that, I'm simply going to add a section to give you an idea of how sections work as well. And once we've added those, we are going to be good to go. Okay, so simply add this section in the space. And there we are. So just like this, you can set different things for yourself. I'm also going to make sure to decrease the padding for this section. Okay, any paddings that you want are easily added. So once we've done about this, you can add in details for your company, add in different social icons if you want to, social links, if so. And once you've done that, you're going to click on done editing. So once you click on done editing, that basically creates a landing page for you. And you can use that landing page, you know, further on in other sections for yourself accordingly. And once we have done all of that, you can give it a page title for better SEO and better, you know, you could say keyword working and better marketing. And once you do all of this, you are good to go. Now, again, just like forms, you could come here and check its different analytics, check all the automations that it provides you along with the domains and double opt-ins that it gives you. But skipping all of that, let's go ahead and finally talk about one of the most important features that come in e-commerce stores or, you know, email softwares, that is automation. Now, automation is basically a procedure. What you're going to do is you're going to set it up. There's three basic procedures, an action, event, and a trigger. So let's say I'm running an e-commerce store and a person has purchased something from me. They've added it to the cart, but they haven't paid for it. Once they add it to the cart, they immediately leave the store or close the store. So once they close the store, what happens is that product will stay in the shopping cart and that shopping cart is going to stay vacant. Now, when it comes to automations, I could set up an automation which says that if someone leaves something to their shopping cart, send them an email which they signed up with. Now, that's an automation. I won't have to do that personally by myself. The automation is going to do it for me. So just like this, we're going to click on new automation and you can choose a template for an automation or you can choose these automations. So if a subscriber, you know, subscribes to your forms or list, you can send them a simple welcome email, VIN back active subscribers, retarget subscribers, online course, etc. And I'm pretty sure there we go. Abandoned cart is also mentioned in this. So you know, as I gave you an idea about the abandoned cart, let me show you a preview of this. So as we can see, we have abandoned cart. Now, this is the abandoned cart email that it created itself. You're going to wait three days and then the abandoned cart email will be linked to all the people with the abandoned carts. So you can easily use this for yourself. But, you know, if you want to create an automation from scratch for yourself, you can do that as well by just going ahead and giving your automation a name and clicking on start building. So once you do all of that and start building here, you can either set up a workflow trigger for yourself accordingly or you can add anything you want. So I'm going to go with when subscriber joins the group summer sale. OK, what happens from here is another action will occur. So what you're going to do is you're going to add and let's say action and the action needs to be defined. So I'm going to go ahead and write move to another step or mark as unsubscribed. So let's say I'm going to go with mark as unsubscribed. And then once we do this, you're going to save that as well. And finally, we're going to add the email that we're going to want to send. And accordingly, you're going to edit the email for yourself just the way you want it to be. But yeah, that is basically how you are going to go ahead and use MailerLite with all of its recurring features and functions. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, do let me know down in the comments below and I'll be making a whole lot more for you. Till then, that is all from me and I'll be seeing all of you in the very next video. Have a great day. Goodbye.